Hey guys, Derek here from Modern Castle. The Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is a robot vacuum that had excellent performance across our test. It removed 97.9% .9 of all debris by weight and cleaned up a healthy amount of dirt while mopping. It did have some hair tangles, but thanks to removal pieces, the hair is easy to clean. The robot failed to avoid every object while cleaning, but on a broader scale, it does navigate well. Additionally, usability is exceptional, having most of the daily maintenance taken care of by the auto wash fill dock. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel at YouTube. First up, our performance tests. At Modern Castle, we use nine different performance tests to measure the Roborock S8's cleaning performance, navigation efficiency, and overall usability. For the cleaning test, we use the Roborock S8 on three different floor types and four different debris types. We verified the robot vacuum is running on maximum suction and performed two full cleaning cycles on the testing lane. After, we measured the amount of remaining debris by weight and compare it to the starting amounts. Cleaning performance for the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra was excellent and 1.5% better than the average across all of our robot vacuums we've tested to date. On average, we see an overall debris removal rate of 96.4%. The S8 had nearly perfect performance on hardwood floor, but struggled a little more on carpet, both high and low piles. On both the carpets, the robot left a small amount of sugar and kitty litter while being able to remove nearly all of the cereal and rice. That said, it still had better performance than average on both of these floor types, which is 94.8% for low pile carpet and 96.0% for high pile. To measure mopping performance on the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra, we let it perform multiple cleaning cycles throughout our office and studio space. Once the dirty water tank is full, we empty it and see how much dirt the robot was able to clean up. Mopping performance was excellent for the Roborock S8. As we empty the dirty water tank, you can see a healthy amount of dirt had rested near the bottom. This level of mopping is perfect for everyday floor cleaning. One of the key features is Roborock's ability to lift and lower the brush roll and mop pads. The brush roll as well? Mm -hmm. Oh Yeah, it's just a new part, new thing. All right. It does this in various configurations to avoid making messes on carpets or rugs and make cleaning more efficient for the device. This feature alone not only greatly improves overall usability, but ensures the robot has the right tool for the job at all times. While cleaning performance was excellent for the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra, we also wanted to check how well it managed long strands of hair. To test this, we placed 0.3 grams of hair in the direct cleaning path of the robot, let it clean it up, and then check the floor and brush roll for remaining hair or tangles. Long hair performance was good for the S8 Pro Ultra. While no hair remained on the floor, a fair amount of it got tangled around the brush roll, especially near the ends. This is a common issue we see with robot vacuums in general, so it wasn't a surprise to see. What was surprised was the ability to completely remove various pieces of the brush roll in order to make cleaning them significantly easier. On both of the brush rolls, the ends can be easily pulled off by hand, making accessing and removing the hair round while the axle incredibly simple. This is a welcome feature that makes dealing with hair tangles much easier. For our pet hair tests, we check to see how well robot vacuums can remove pet hair from high pile carpet. We nestle 1.0 grams of pet hair in the carpet fibers and run the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra on the max suction power for two complete cleaning cycles. After, we check the carpet and measure how much of it remains by weight. Pet hair performance was good for the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra, but not the absolute best we've seen. That said, if your dog doesn't shed too much, the Roborock should be capable of handling daily shedding. The Roborock S8 Pro Ultra comes attached with an RGB camera, LiDAR, and infrared sensors. It utilizes these together in what they call reactive 3D obstacle avoidance to avoid common objects found around the household. To put that to the test, we put four objects on the floor and had the robot clean the area. We observed the cleaning process to see how well it avoided the objects in its path. While the S8 Pro was able to avoid most of the objects, it failed to avoid the mug and cord. 
In both cases, the robot seemed to make attempts to avoid it initially, only to fail and have the side of the robot touch the object. Both times, it never fully barreled into the objects like we've seen with other robots, but it was enough to warrant some concern, especially with the cord. After testing, we checked the map on the app and it showed the S8 did recognize the cord and mug and marked them, but just failed to avoid them completely. This recognition and the initial attempts to avoid the cord and mug give me hope that these issues could be resolved with future software updates. In addition to measuring obstacle avoidance, we also check how well the Robo Rock cleans on a broader scale. We have it run multiple cleaning cycles in our office and studio space and check three core requirements. Can it fully clean the space? Can it not get stuck? And can it return to base? Navigational performance was excellent across the board for the S8 Pro Ultra. Despite our floor being littered with film equipment, electronics furniture, and other products we're testing, the Robo Rock performed well. Our cleaning speed test showed the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra was able to clean our 1,000 square foot office space within 60 to 70 minutes. Tips. Hey, hey, could, could you not? Could you not? We're trying to do a thing here. Usability is quite exceptional for the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra. As mentioned previously, it has features that help it avoid making messes on carpet, but it has many other additions that make it easy to set up, use, and maintain. Initial setup is quite simple as the majority of it comes ready to go out of the box. All the packaging will need to be removed and the power cable needs to be plugged in. After that, you will need to fill the clean water tank and fully charge your robot vacuum before first use. Additionally, you can connect the S8 Pro Ultra to the Roborock app by following the in-app instructions. There are only three buttons to physically interact with on the Roborock the power button, which starts and stops the cleaning cycle, the mop button, which only mops, and the home button to send the robot to the dock. Most of the control is available in the app. In addition to all the functionality you have with the physical buttons, you get map management, custom scheduling, device settings, and much, much more. The app is intuitive and easy to use with menus that make sense and settings that are easy to access. In addition, it will mark objects on your map that it recognizes while cleaning and build a 3D map to view and manage. Maintenance is where the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra really shines. The empty wash filled dock provides a substantial amount of functionality in regards to maintenance. It can automatically empty, refill, wash, dry, and charge the robot. That is the majority of the more frequent maintenance tasks handled automatically by the dock. Of course, you will need to replace the dust bag, refill the clean water tank, and empty the dirty water tank. But that can happen every few days as opposed to daily. In addition, you will need to clean the filters on the device and wipe down the sensors as they get dirty. To measure noise levels on the Roborock SA Pro Ultra, we ran it on each power mode and used a sound meter to measure the output. In addition, we recorded the ambient noise levels of the room to compare to the robot. We found the S8 Pro Ultra to have a noise level of 76.7 decibels at its peak and 82.2 decibels while self-emptying. Here's what the robot sounds like. There are three different versions of the Roborock S8. We tested the Pro Ultra, which is the most robust and expensive version of the three. The robots themselves are essentially the same. The few exceptions are the standard S8 has a dustbin that is 400 milliliters instead of 350, and the Pro Ultra's water tank is slightly smaller at 200 milliliters. The major difference between the versions is the charging dock and its capabilities. Roborock's S8 Pro Ultra is yet another step up for Roborock. Last year's Roborock S7 Max V Ultra easily claimed the title as the best robot on the market, a title which the new S8 Pro Ultra seems likely to inherit. This is, in part, thanks to the improvements of the auto wash filled dock. It can still automatically empty wash and refill the vacuum, but now it can also dry the mopping pads. In addition, the S8 Pro Ultra cleans well, removing 97.9% .9 of all debris and a healthy amount of dirt while mopping. 
It navigates well, has obstacle avoidance, and a plethora of controls and features accessible through the app. It's an expensive robot, but it's also arguably the best robot vacuum on the market in 2023. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that it helpful. Comment and questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Robo Rock, we've got a link in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at ModernCastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.